Get ready for a movie adventure like no other. Welcome to Flashback Videos, where we compare and contrast movies from the past and present. From classics to the biggest blockbusters, we'll take you on a journey through the evolution of movies. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see the magic. Now we could never do this without you, so if you love movies, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll never miss a chance to see your favourite movies in a whole new light. So, today's flashback movie is 2015's long-awaited sequel to The Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. The galaxy is now facing a new threat. Rey, a desert scavenger, and Finn, an ex-stormtrooper must join Han Solo and Chewbacca to search for the one hope of restoring peace. This time directed by J.J. Abrams, who also wrote the screenplay along with Lawrence Kasdan and Michael Arn, the movie was released by Lucasfilm in conjunction with Walt Disney Pictures in December 2015, with a running time of around two and a quarter hours. The Force Awakens was filmed in Ireland, with a budget of around $245 million, going on to gross more than 2 billion worldwide. 30 years after the defeat of the Galactic Empire, Han Solo and his young allies face a new threat from the evil Kylo Ren and the First Order. On watching this movie, it kind of feels like a remake of the first one, but less well put together. After the last scene, I had to wonder if maybe there was some kind of a story coming out of all this rehashed mess. Something original perhaps? That would have been nice. The now much older Luke Skywalker, who was raised by his aunt and uncle on Tatooine, was portrayed by actor, voice artist and writer Mark Richard Hamill, who was born in California in 1951. Hamill's early career began with a recurring role on the soap opera General Hospital, and he starred on the Texas Wheelers before his friend Robert England suggested that he audition for the role of Skywalker. Hamill's first serious love was his General Hospital co-star, Anne Wyndham. But since 1978, he's been married to dental hygienist Mary Lou York, and they have three children together. The one-time princess of the planet Alderaan, Princess Leah Organa, who is also one of the leaders of the Rebel Alliance, was portrayed by actress and writer Carrie Frances Fisher, who was born in Burbank in 1956. The daughter of singer Eddie Fisher and actress Debbie Reynolds, Carrie made her movie debut as the precociously seductive Lorna Karpf in 1975's Shampoo, before shooting to fame with this role. She died in 2016, after she stopped breathing on a flight from London to Los Angeles. The cynical smuggler and captain of the Millennium Falcon, Han Solo, was portrayed by Hollywood legend Harrison Ford who was born in Illinois in 1942. Ford signed a $150 a week contract with Columbia Pictures in 1964 and appeared in a number of small and uncredited roles, but went on to become a self-taught professional carpenter. He finally got an audition with George Lucas, going on to appear as Bob Falfa in 1973's American Graffiti, before eventually landing this starring role in Star Wars. Ford has been married three times, with four biological children and one adopted child. The leader of the Knights of Ren and the commander of the First Order, Kylo Ren, who also happens to be the son of Han and Leia, was played by actor and US Marine veteran Adam Douglas Driver, who was born in San Diego in 1983. Driver made his Broadway debut in 2010's Mrs. Warren's Profession, and rose to prominence with a supporting role in the comedy drama Girls before beginning his movie career with supporting roles in Lincoln, Francis Ha, and Inside Lewin Davis. Living in the Brooklyn Heights neighborhood of New York City, Driver married his longtime partner Joanne Tucker in 2013, and they have a son together. Force-sensitive scavenger Rey, a human female Jedi master, who fought on the side of the Resistance in the war against the First Order, was played by Daisy Jazz Isabel Ridley, who was born in London in 1992. Daisy began her career with minor roles in British TV shows such as Silent Witness, Mr. Selfridge and Casualty, making her movie debut in the 2015 horror movie Scrawl. 
Living in Primrose Hill, Daisy has been in a relationship with actor Tom Bateman since 2017, after they met on the set of Murder on the Orient Express. British actor and mime artist Anthony Daniels, who was born in England in 1946, played the protocol droid C-3PO, who was fluent in over 6 million forms of communication. Daniels has played C-3PO in all of the Star Wars feature movies, except Solo, a Star Wars story, starting with the original installment, but allegedly did not get along with R2-D2 actor Kenny Baker. He has also appeared intermittently on British TV, in various dramas, including a recurring role in Prime Suspect with Helen Mirren. Daniels has been married to writer Christine Savage since 2013. The part of the reformed First Order Stormtrooper, Finn, who joins forces with Ray, was played by actor and producer John Adebayo Bamideli Adegboyega, known professionally as John Boyega, who was born in London in 1992. Boyega first rose to prominence for his role as Moses in the sci-fi comedy Attack the Block, but his role of Finn was his international breakthrough, and he reprised it for both The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Other movies he's been involved in include Imperial Dreams, Detroit and Breaking. Guatemalan-born American actor Oscar Isaac Hernandez Estrada was born in Guatemala City in 1979 and played the part of the X-Wing fighter pilot with the Resistance, Poe Dameron. His first major role was that of Joseph in 2006's The Nativity Story and since the success of The Force Awakens has appeared in the likes of Ex Machina, X-Men Apocalypse and Operation Finale. Indifferent to the celebrity life, preferring to remain close to his family, Isaac married Danish film director Elvira Lind in 2017 and they have two sons together. Han Solo's trusty sidekick and the first mate of the Millennium Falcon, Chewbacca, was played by British-American actor Peter William Mayhew, who was born in England in 1944. With a peak height of over 7 feet, Mayhew gained his first acting job when the producers of 1977's Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger discovered him from a photograph and cast him in the role of the Minotaur. He played the character of Chewbacca in all of his live-action appearances, from the 1977 original to this one. Living in Texas, Mayhew had been married to Mary Angelique Angie Luca since 1999, but died from a heart attack in 2019. Actor, director and producer Andrew Clement Serkis was born in England in 1964 and played the part of the enigmatic, artificially genetic leader of the First Order, Supreme Leader Snoke. After several minor roles, mainly in British movies and on TV, Circus is another of those actors who has the Lord of the Rings franchise to thank for his rise to fame. It allowed him to star in the likes of 13 Going on 30, as serial killer Ian Brady in Longford, and of course, this movie. Living in London, Circus has been married to actress Lorraine Ashbon since 2002, and they have three children. Now, as I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel. You know you want to, and it is free. 